But first, Indiana Secretary of State Connie Lawson says she is honored to serve on the Presidential Advisory Commission. The first meeting of the Trump administration's panel investigating alleged voter fraud is scheduled for this week. Lawson has previously said she won't release requested information to the group on the state's voter rolls. We've heard the right discuss this as a systemic issue. Is voter fraud an actual problem or is this political? Well, you know, if there's access and then there's, you know, preventing fraud and they're not mutually exclusive. And so, you know, we want 100% of the voters to vote, but we also want 0% fraud. So it's not uh, it's not an exclusive issue. Some are arguing that this commission is conservatives trying to prevent African Americans, Latinos from voting. Do you think this is a form of voter suppression? Could it lead to voter suppression? I absolutely do not. You know, there are no preconceived outcomes or preconceived notions. We're going to just, and you know, what's, what's wrong with signing, shining a little sunshine on the way the states do it to see if we could do it better? It's not about suppression. It's about uh, restoring confidence in our elections. Is there a way to hack into the system? You know, the, the system is so decentralized, I'd say it's nearly impossible. I think uh, people need to keep in mind that our voting machines are not on the internet, nor are they connected to one another. Our tabulation machines are not on the internet or connected to one another. Uh, and so, and you know, there's uh, 92 counties of over 5,000 locations in the state, and there's five different types of voting machines that are used, so it would be very, very, very difficult for someone to, to get into one of the systems and change the results of the election.